What's up, Odoers? If you know anything about me, I do most of my communicating from the comfort of my email inbox. But jumping back and forth between an inbox and CRM can be a bit of a headache. It's an absolute pain in the you-know-what to manually input data into your CRM, and if you don't do everything right away, there's a good chance you'll lose valuable bits of information. Or even worse, you'll waste tons of time trying to reconcile between your inbox and database, which isn't exactly the best way to spend your workday. But with Odoo, users can directly link email information to their database. Not only that, but Odoo mailbox plugins allow users to instantly create contacts, opportunities, and tasks straight from the inbox. So let's dive into our database to see how easy it is to set up and how to use mailbox plugins, specifically the Outlook plugin with Odoo. From the main dashboard, we're just going to hop into our settings application. Then we're just going to scroll all the way down to the integration section. And on the integration section, there's only one feature we need to make sure that's activated, and that's Mail Plugin. Without that feature, none of the Mailbox plugins will work, so don't forget to take care of that and hit Save before moving on. Once that's locked in, we're just going to click this tiny question mark right next to Mail Plugin, and that'll quickly access the Odoo documentation, which shows the details on how to set up Mailbox plugins for Outlook and Gmail accounts. So we need to visit this documentation because there's a specific XML file that we need to properly set up the Outlook plugin that we're covering in this video. So on the left side of the screen, we're just going to click the link to the Outlook plugin documentation here on the left. And we're just going to scroll down to the Install Outlook plugin section. And here, we just want to right click this XML file link, followed by Save Link As. And then just save this link to your computer. This link is going to be necessary to configure the Odoo plugin into your Outlook inbox. So speaking of that, let's hop into our Outlook inbox now. Now that we're in our Outlook inbox, we can see that we already have an email about a potential lead, Addison Olson. Now from the email itself and not the top header here, we're just going to click the app icon, which is represented by a square with four app icons inside. When we do, we're not going to search Odoo in the search bar, rather, going to click the Get Add-ins button here at the bottom. Then all we have to do is click the My Add-ins on the sidebar, and then scroll to the bottom and click on the Add a Custom Add-in, which is in blue text here, and then followed by Add from File. This is where we're going to upload our manifest XML file that we just downloaded. So select that from your computer, upload it, and then click Install. Then we can just close out this window. Now, just like before, we're going to click the same apps icon on the email itself. And when we do, we can now see that the Odoo Inbox add-in is available. Perfect. So let's just click into this app icon. And that'll take us to a login sidebar. From here, we can just click Login at the bottom, input your database URL, and then click Login, followed by Allow. Then we're going to click Allow and Allow again from the pop-up. And boom, we're connected. Now let's see this in action. So since this email is about a potential lead for Addison Olson, let's work off of that. We're going to click the magnifying glass icon next to Contact Details. And then in our Odoo database, we're just going to search for Addison. And there she is. Now we're just going to click on the contact. And from here, we'll click on the purple mail envelope icon next to Addison's name. And when we do, it turns into a green check mark. Clicking that logs this email into Addison's contact form in our internal Odoo database. So when we hop back into our Odoo database, we're just going to navigate to the contacts application, search Addison at the top, then of course click on Addison's contact. And here, if we scroll down, we'll be able to see that the message was successfully logged here in the chatter. And this ensures that every piece of communication is stored correctly and easily accessible. Great. And if we hop back to our Outlook inbox and click the plus sign next to Opportunities, we can create an opportunity in our CRM based on this email. We can also create a task from here with the same process, but we're just going to focus on the Opportunity side for now. So when we click this plus sign, it'll take us to a new browser tab. 
In the new browser tab, this loads a fresh lead form here in Odoo. The title of the lead is just the subject of the email and it's already filled in with all the information as well as the message that we received earlier in our Outlook inbox. And since we have the lead feature activated in our CRM settings, if we scroll up, we can convert this into an opportunity via the Convert to Opportunity button here at the top. And just to show you that it is available in our CRM app, let's just go back to our database, go to the CRM application, click on Leads, scroll down, and there it is, our potential lead, Addison Olson. And to think we were able to do that all from the comfort of our Outlook inbox. Pretty cool, don't you think? And there we have it, folks. That's how easy and quick it is to set up and use Mailbox plugins for Outlook with Odoo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.